So what's up guys welcome back to another video now in today's video I have this save file guide for CarX Street version 1.9.0 PC and uh, as you all know I have been uh, using CarX Street uh, I've been playing CarX Street for a very long time for nearly about a year it's been almost a year and the game has launched and I've been grinding so much so and so much for you so that you don't have to grind and for those people who are using the doggy rip cake or the fat grill rip cake the save file location will be different from steam and in this video i will not show any links i will not show any uh, i'll not show anything here i'll tell you i'll talk about where you can find it and uh, i'll just talk about it randomly in this video so that you, you have to find it out it's your, your job to find it out and i know you guys are smart enough to find this out so now i'll just quickly uh, jump and show you how to do this now here I'll give you a file named user data and there will be a number over here. So this will be your location for what the save file is located for Steam. And simply copy this file, go to right click and simply copy it file. Copy this file. I'll give you the links in the description below. Make sure to check it out. After copying it, here on those location actually, if you go to your Steam library, so uh, let's in my previous videos you might have seen there were lots of folders because that was the base. That was the Steam root folder where Steam was installed. But in this case, I've installed the game on a different location. So in this case, if you go to your Steam library in the K, so let's say it's installed in K drive. So in the Steam location, Steam library folder, you'll get a folder called user data. There will be no other folder because Steam is not installed here. Steam is installed on a different location. In my previous videos, you might have seen. So now don't have to worry about that. Everything will work just fine. Now go to user data folder, and if you have installed more games, so in this case, in the, in in this location, only one game is installed. So I know this is my folder for CarX Street. But in your case, there might be different games installed. So you might be confused, you know, which game is which. So do not play any other game, simply play CarX Street and note the date modified time. So in my, uh, you, you see that uh, this is the time, in this time I played this game. So let's say I play this game CarX Street on 12 o'clock. So it will, the date modified will be around 12 o'clock something. So you by that you will know that, okay, this is my folder. Now open this folder and inside uh, there will be a triple one, four, one, five, zero. This will be common for everybody. Now double click again on it and you, you see go to remote and on the remote you simply paste this file which I gave you. Now this is not over yet. Now you need to do here is that copy the storage path. You see here, you need to copy this path, not the folder, no, not the file. Uh, just press F2 on your keyboard, F2 or right click on you can click on rename. Now rename it, right click again, copy this thing. After copying, simply now do not paste it right there just now delete this file now just press delete on your keyboard or you can keep a backup control x you can cut it and keep a backup somewhere else also if you want that's, um, that's completely up to you now remember this file which you just copied now press f2 on your keyboard or right click you can click on rename now simply press control v that's all now press enter that's all you need to do here in this you know to make this thing work so this is quite easy as you know peeling a banana so this is you know, uh, this is this, I made this easy for you so that you don't have to struggle a lot. So now, for those people who are using the doggy rib cake or the fat grill rib cake, so the save file location will be different. Now, where to get the save file location? Now, you might have installed the game. Now, after installing the game, go to your root folder and then select the car extra data, and then go to plugins, and again go to x84 x64 x86 x64. Go there and find the file called steamemu.ini. Go down the bottom side. It's this one this one is the file steamemu.ini so after you get this file wait, wait, this one this one is the file open this file and you will get what you need and you're welcome so we are about to start we are about to get in the game yeah there we are now uh, press the button press the button and after that i will be there okay now i'll go to city now uh, let me go here and let me go to the car dealership let me show you all the cars which are there and you might get confused uh, which cars are in which category so I'll just tell, talk about it one by one most of the cars are in C3 category let me simplify things a little bit go to C3 the first car which you'll find is that 7RS 7RS the first car is 7RS and then uh, the next car will be bz4 this one is actually the bmw z z4 <laughs> uh, the next car will be cvl it's again in c3 uh, this one this one is cvl so not not corvette this is a muscle car and so c4 we have the hrd the hot rod this is called the hrd this one is yrs this is the bz4 okay, so let me just buy this game I'm sorry buy this car so let me just skip it uh, let me just click on a and then that's all now i'll just get on to the garage then the new showroom. It's almost night time. 
Yeah, nine actually fucked things a lot. I have a dream, a reflection sign up. What is the looks good in the night. Night time actually makes it. Let's crash it. Let's see what happens with the other car. It really stay upside down like that? I don't know. Mm. So that's all for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, if you need my channel, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications at the time. So let's see what my next video.